Paleontologists are fascinated by changes in biodiversity through Earth history, especially the cycles of flourishing life and extinctions. Scientists believe there were five great mass extinctions in history, including those in the Permian, Triassic, and Devonian periods, and some say the sixth is underway. 那么到底现在生物多样性处于一个大规模减少的阶段，还是基本处于一个正常的阶段？实际上是用现在的时间尺度来看，是我们很难看得清的。我们必须要研究整个地球历史的生物多样性的变化。生命的演化，它必然是受到了当时的地球上的各种环境指标的影响，比如说气候。我们想要知道生命演化它的一个驱动机制是什么。But even the top paleontologists. Have only the fuzzy view of Earth natural history, which they have divided into huge chunks of 10 million years. That means they don't have detailed knowledge of any extinction or boom of life that occurred within those blocks of time. The details are not visible, especially the spontaneous changes. We cannot see them. And the Earth we are currently in is exactly the same. 要关注这些突发性的事件。所有的历史其实都是靠这个我们叫岩石和岩石里面的这些化石来记录的。然后里面的化石呢，就告诉我们的信息就更生动一些。Fossils are key archive of the past, but they have been regarded only as curiosities, beautiful but worthless, until the 19th century, when British geologist William Smith found the code hidden in the rocks. He discovered. That superficially identical strata, or distinct layers of rocks, actually differed in their fossil content. 总有一个规律，就有些东西它老是在那个下面的，就是靠下的那个岩石里面；有些东西它总是在靠上的岩石里面。然后它整体的这个出现的顺序永远都一致。他把这个就就叫做化石层序律。Scientists started to realize the fossils could work as page numbers of a book to bring order. Into chaos, but they need to solve one big problem first. 绝大部分的以前的史前生物是不会保存的化石的。我们所现在看到的这个化石，就完全是以前那个世界的很小的一部分。As a result, it can be hard to tell whether changes in the fossil records mark real shifts, such as mass extinctions, or are simply caused by a lack of evidence. This gap has been filled by a recent attempt to bring Earth history into sharp focus. Professor Fan Junquan was leading a team to mine a new database of more than 100,000 records belonging to over 11,000 fossil species. They're relying on one of the world's most powerful supercomputers, the Tianhe Two. Every point represents a unique unit of computing power. So, in this way, we can very clearly see that the current computing is growing rapidly. Fan hopes to unleash the intensive computing power of the Tianhe Two to uncover the hidden pattern by integrating fossil data as much as they can, in order to compensate for the lack of fossil records. The machine didn't disappoint him. Because 本身当你的数据量这么大了之后，这个分辨率的提升肯定会是惊人的。但是能够提高到二点六万年还是比较出乎我们的意料的。From 10 million years to 26,000 years, that's 400 times in resolution improvement. The result: breathtaking details. Just like we said, we use our eyes to watch our world and we use these computer vision to watch our world. So you will see that the world will be completely different. Detail has been added to a long-known extinction, arguably the darkest moment in Earth's natural history. 最显著的这条线，就代表了是我们目前所认识到的地球上面最大规模的一次生物大灭绝，就发生在 2.5 亿年左右的二叠纪末的一次生物大灭绝事件。这次灭绝事件呢，导致差不多百分之八十一的海洋的物种，呃，灭绝，而且时间非常短，只有大概六万年左右，这样一个时间范围之内。The findings also cast doubt on one of the five great mass extinctions in the late Devonian, suggesting. That it may not have happened at all. The Nippon-Ki 晚期的一次事件，嗯，实际上是一个很长的生物多样性的一个下降的过程，而不是在某一个点上一个突然的下降
，从我们这次的研究的结果来看，可能这个时候它那个所谓的生物灭绝的那个程度，或者叫生物量的这个减少，并没有那么明显。那么，当你的分辨率下降之后，我们就会发现，生命演化过程中间的一些规律就会消失，甚至于会变成一些错误的一些模式。也就是说，分辨率必须要足够高。它才能够真正的帮我们去揭示生命演化的实际的这种规律所在。As the new curve reviews more secrets hidden from Earth's past, scientists wish to match those ups and downs on a time scale with climatic shifts in history. That will help us better answer one question than ever before: Is today's climate change driving us to a new biodiversity catastrophe? 如果我们反过去看，在地球历史过程中间是不是这样的规律呢？如果是，那就证明很有可能就表明我们现今的生物多样性危机是真实存在的。那么，如果要是地质过程中间发生过多次的大气氧化量环境量更高，甚至于全球更暖，生物都没有灭绝，那也许我们可以更加客观地认识我们现今的生物多样性的危机。